Myanmar's military rulers have extended a state of emergency for the six months. The announcement made on the second anniversary of the coup as thousands of people joined mass protests in multiple countries. While those within Myanmar have told Sky News, Australia needs to do more to help the resistance. This is a recreation of a desecration of democracy. Thai protesters reenact the brutal crackdown on demonstrators in Myanmar following the military coup two years ago. The United Nations estimates the junta has since killed at least 2,900 people, detained 17,500 and displaced 1.1 million. These protesters in Bangkok and Tokyo haven't forgotten, but they believe much of the world has. When you think about the Ukraine, the whole world is, you know, just uh, trying to uh, support the Ukraine issue and Myanmar is uh, forgotten. Australia this week announced more sanctions, targeting 16 military figures, including the Commander-in-Chief. Australia can do more and they can persuade the uh, South Asian nation to have a tougher the uh, policy on Myanmar military. Ai Chen was there when soldiers turned their guns on the citizens protesting the takeover. He took up arms, joining a civil war which still rages and paid a severe price. I chose this route because I believe it is the right one. If I recover enough, I will go back to war and fight until the end. He fears elections scheduled for August will give false legitimacy to a regime most Burmese despise. I don't think it is possible to hold an election. Even if they do, it will just be themselves with their soldiers. Everyone locally and internationally has rejected them. Sky News spoke with a school teacher and democracy advocate previously jailed. She tells us she's being hunted again after attending an anti-coup demonstration. I have witnessed in front of my eyes people being killed, including young children. The sadness is not just with me, it's with the whole country. Australia must help get the release of all political prisoners and return the power to the people of Myanmar. Human Rights Watch alleges the Myanmar junta is carrying out crimes against humanity. It's demanding a global arms embargo and that all nations work more closely to ensure the regime can't skirt around sanctions. What's missing is a coordinated approach in which those countries who support the human rights of the people of Myanmar, who stand with the people of Myanmar, join together in an active coalition. The people of Myanmar have withstood so much over two years, they're left to wonder how willing is the rest of the world to stand up for them. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.